Hey guys, it's Bridgette with Sandy with Seed Company. And today I wanna to talk about a very popular crop that we get gazillions and gazillions of questions about. It's milkweed. I'm gonna talk all about starting it from seed, the varieties, everything you need to know. But before I jump into that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you're notified anytime we do a video. So, milkweed. It's like this amazing plant that has gotten so much popularity in the last two years. And for good reason, milkweed is an essential food item for butterflies. And who doesn't love butterflies in the garden? There has been such a big push all across the world, but especially in the United States, to plant items in our gardens that promote healthy and diverse insect populations. And that includes butterflies. So for us here in Southern California, a big crop for that is called is milkweed and there's many different types of milkweed. I have two of them here that are actually native to Southern California and grow really well here in our habitats. One of them is woolly potted milkweed, Asclepius aerocarpa, and then we have another Asclepia, which is the the narrow leaf or sometimes it's called the Mexican milkweed. Both of these milkweeds grow really well in hot, dry climates which is one of the reasons why if you're growing in Southern California or anywhere really in, in the Southwest, you wanna grow a type of milkweed that can stand up to our heat, our drought, our extreme temperatures. If you plant, um, you know, say swamp milkweed here in San Diego, well, we're not a swamp, it's not gonna grow very well. So part of that equation is planting what does, what will thrive here. And the other part is these plants are uh, going to grow well and going to support a healthy monarch and butterfly population, which is part of the reason why we plant them. Now, I know because of the millions of emails I have responded to over the last two years, okay, maybe I'm exaggerating a little bit. My husband always says I exaggerate. I never exaggerate, okay? But we have responded to a lot of emails about milkweed and I understand why it's really difficult to start. And I'm gonna give you an idea of how long it took for me to start these seeds. So these seeds were started, whoa, February 22nd, okay? That's a really long time ago. We're in, what are we in? April, end of April. And look how big they are. They're tiny. They've barely done anything. Milkweed in general is a very slow growing plant and it is also, it's very slow to germinate and then it grows very slowly from its seed form. So if you're going to plant milkweed, particularly woolly potted or the, or the narrow leaf milkweed varieties, it's going to take quite some time for them to germinate. And during that time, you need to keep the soil moist. So I believe that's a lot of what happens. People are just, they're excited. They're wanting them to sprout in a week or two. This flat here was planted on the 20th of March and it's just now germinating. Look at this, you can see some little guys just barely popping up. This is almost a month long germination process. So it's, it is not for uh, anybody who is rushed. You have to have a lot of patience starting this seed. It's totally worth it though, because then you can plant this out in the garden and have tons of butterflies running around the garden, floating around the garden, and you can enjoy it and make it a really magical space. Another question we always get is, is it, is it required to do cold stratification for your milkweed? Well, we've heard it both ways. And this milkweed seed that we have here, we actually had it sourced in San Diego County, so it is as local as we can get. And we worked with several organizations to learn all about milkweed and the best ways to start the seed. And there's a little bit of argument on whether or not cold stratification is required. And I'll show you here, we did do it with several of these trays, <clears throat> and this is how you do it. So basically it's just a Tupperware, nothing fancy. Inside here, I have paper towels, and then I have the milkweed seed in here, and it is in the fridge. Now this has been in there for, I started this on the 16th. So it's been there quite a long time. I need to plant this out. I will say that we did notice on the flats 
that we did the cold stratification on. This, the flat germinated more evenly, but it did not germinate any quicker. So we still had to be as patient. We had to wait a really long time for the seeds to germinate. And they did finally, but um, it didn't speed up the process any. So in my opinion, I would say it's not necessarily totally required. Uh, it could help potentially have stronger starts in the long run. We'll find out, we'll find that out as we plant these into the garden. So what are we going to be doing with all of this milkweed? Well, I'm really excited to say we're actually going to do milkweed seed production at our Ramona farm this summer. All the ease babies and all the, the other flats that we have will go out there and we'll plant them in hopes of providing local milkweed seed to you this coming fall. Now in the meantime, let's go on to the garden and let's look at a couple of different types of milkweed that we have just growing wild in the garden. Let's go. So this here is a tropical milkweed, which uh, actually grows natively in the Southeast. What is it doing here in the Southwest? Well, it's a really popular milkweed variety because it's very beautiful. It's very easy to grow and it is very commonly sold at nurseries throughout the United States. Now, you might be thinking, wait, you're not supposed to grow that variety here in the Southwest. And you're kind of right, you know, kind of not. There's a, there's a little bit of argument on that as well. This variety of milkweed can perennialize and never die back in Southern California because our weather temperatures are so favorable. Well, that can be problematic for the milkweed population because they have a food source year round which will disturb their migration patterns. So what you can do to try to mitigate those issues is we actually chop back, you can see down here where we've cut back our milkweed, we will chop it down to the ground um, at the end of every summer and, or in the fall and let it regrow. And that will help to keep the, the monarch butterflies from staying here because they won't have a food source. This is a variety that grows like a weed I would consider this more an ornamental plant than I would a pollinator plant or a plant for the monarchs, particularly because it is not a milkweed that is native to our area. When possible, you want to plant varieties that are native to your area, especially if you're doing any conservation projects, planting it in parks or anything like that. Nevertheless, it is a beautiful variety, grows really easily. You can see here that there are tons of aphids on here. That is not a problem. It is not going to hurt the plant. And I bet if we look around in the garden, we can already find some monarch butterfly caterpillars. Let's go looking. I know we'll find one somewhere right over here. Oh, boom. Didn't take long. Look, so you can see here, we already have some caterpillars that are chomping away. They're going to town. So they feed on this and all of the milkweed plants, all the different species in that category, have a sappiness to them, to the actual plant. If I break this off, see it's milky. And that actually makes these caterpillars less likely to be eaten by other predators. So that's one of the reasons why it's such an important food source to them. How amazing is that? And so you can see we've got a lot of this uh, tropical milkweed that is kind of almost naturalized in the garden. And it does take a fair bit of work every year for us to, to remember to cut it all down, but it grows back easily. It's beautiful. We have tons of, of caterpillars that are enjoying it. This year, we're really gonna focus on growing the Asclepius aerocarpa, so the, the woolly potted uh, milkweed and the narrow leaf milkweed, both for seed production and just because it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. 